All right, guys, uh, welcome back to this tutorial uh, series where we're using the built-in ARCHICAD 26 template um, and the Architectural Profile 26 in order to build out our 3D model and also go through the documentation, workflow, and process in general. So here I've got uh, the building section A. What we're going to do today is we can see here we're missing quite a few things like the ceiling structure um, and the roof and of course the foundation. We probably won't get through everything today, but uh, or not in this video anyway, but um, we're going to head back to our all visible and unlocked um, view, which you can find here by going to your view map and then clicking all visible and unlocked. It'll just take you to this, to this view. And what we're going to do is we're going to head over to our slab tool to put in uh, ceilings. Um, so Previously, we looked at the, we used a slab tool to put in the floor structure, right? We were here in this folder, um, but to navigate to the uh, ceiling structure or ceiling that we have here, we're getting this uh, one inch metal uh, acoustical tile structure, which is not really what we would use um, normally. Anyway, we have a drywall with some kind of uh, ceiling joist um, structure and uh, the top depending on whether you have a second floor or not um, it can be plywood or um, or not right or it, you know if you have a second floor if you don't have a second floor then it's just a it's literally just the, the ceiling joist right um, in the ceiling structure um, but anyway this won't work so we're gonna go ahead and create our own composite for this and I'll show you guys how to do that in just a moment so let's go ahead and head over to uh, options, I believe, and then we're going to go down to composites. And then here we have a list of all of the composites that have been created for us in this template. Um, and you can kind of see um, here, uh, so this one inch uh, metal acoustical tile has two parts to it. So um, here it's showing you the uh, that this is the metal framing is just one inch and then the, uh, the tile is another inch added on top of that um, but we're going to create a ceiling structure so to do that um, we're going to go ahead and hit new here new composite um, and then we'll just start from scratch we can you can duplicate uh, one of the ones that were, were already created for us but I'll just click new new composite and then I'll just call this a two by uh, ceiling joist structure um, and we don't really know what the thickness is of our ceiling, but um, we are going to just say it's um, six inches. And let's see, so over here we have the outside. So this is right now, it's just one, uh, one material. So let's go ahead and figure out what we want. So um, let me go ahead and insert another skin. We're gonna have two skins here. So insert another skin by going over here. The bottom skin, we're going to want that to be our uh, drywall. So let's see if we can find a drywall here somewhere. Let's see. So that's not that's not it. Finishes maybe. Uh, tile, ceiling, gypsum. Let's just go with gypsum board. Um, and then um, we're going to say that that's, I believe that's... Uh, half inch or five eighths inch, I forget. But we're just gonna model it as one inch. Um, and then we're gonna have the ceiling joists be six inches. So this will be, this will represent the ceiling joists. And in order to uh, assign that so that it's wood, um, and you, you'll wanna specify different types of materials and I'll explain why in a later video, but it's, it is pretty important to specify what material you're using. So just make sure that you do that. Um, and we want to use uh, structural wood. Uh, let's see if uh, wood always be. Um, hmm, this is not really what I wanted. Oh, there it is. Wood structural. There we go. Okay. So, um, and then over here we can select what type of uh, object we want to use this with. So, if we want to use it with roofing, we can select those. But I'll just remove that one, remove that one, and then we don't want this as a wall. Um, so we'll just keep it as a slab. So here, 
each of these tells you what you can use it with. Um, but I just want to use this one as a slab. Um, and for now, we're going to say it's six inches. Um, and later on, if you, you know, you go through the, uh, the engineering process, deciding, uh, you know, what size ceiling joists you're going to have, or you have an engineer decide that for you, you can always update that, update that in your model so that it's um, accurate, um, and uh, everything kind of matches up. So, uh, yeah. And, so for now we'll say six inches and then if you edit it in a in one project it won't edit it globally so let's say you have this skin in this project and here that your your ceiling joists are six inches thick but um, in another project you can actually edit this to be seven inches and it won't it won't update in this project so that's what i mean by it won't update globally um so anyway let's just go ahead and hit okay and then it looks like i believe i'm Oh, I'm not selecting it. So now, um, the way I can access it is we, we can later add this to a folder here uh, or, or favorite it. Um, but for now, I'm just going to click it. And then I'm going to go down to, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Um, hmm. Floor. Should be here. It's not here. Hmm. Okay, give me a second, guys. I'm going to see if I can find it. Ceiling, it's not there, huh? Okay, that's strange. I know it's saved in there. Let's see. So it, we definitely have it here. So let's see. Why can't I find it? Let me triple click here. Uh, hmm. Two by. Oh, there we go. If you just search two by, it'll come up. Um, and then we'll hit OK. And then we can see that it's in this layer here, slabs 3D. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and insert that here. And then we, I'm just going to go ahead and insert that ceiling there. And then um, we're going to want to make sure that this is where we want it to be. So um, we'll look at it in 3D in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and use a polygon addition to add in the uh, slab there. If you're not familiar with that tool yet, you can look at one of the previous videos. We go over that. Um, and then let's go ahead and look at our section A. So we can see that's not where we want it to be, right? It's showing up here. So that's our 2 by ceiling joist uh, structure. Um, so what I can do in the section is I, I can actually elevate this um, above here, right, so that it's all the way up to where I want it to go, so usually, oh, sorry about that, guys, one second, so usually, well, I'm going to move it one inch down, so I'm just clicking that node, and then I'm going to type one inch, and then boom, so the reason it's important to specify the materials um, is because sometimes uh, you'll, you'll want, let's say, the, uh, the two by stud here, which is represented by this to, um, you know, cut through this one and not have this one come out all the way over here, right? And cutting through your uh, your stud because your, your stud structurally, right, it goes all the way up to your ceiling joists. Your ceiling joists are resting right on the um, on the top plates, which we'll add in later. But um, but anyway, the, the point is the gypsum, you want the gypsum board showing up down here, uh, not going through the stud. Um, so anyway, we just drag that up. Um, and then, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and head back now to our 2D plan. And we're going to go ahead and, um, the other thing I wanted to show you guys actually was um, the wall, right? We wanted to edit the wall uh, composite so that it's a little bit thicker because we have five, we have a five inch wall here. And usually we, um, you know, we use six inches when we're drawing, or at least that's, that's the convention I learned anyway. Um, if not, you don't have to change it, but I'll, I'll show you guys how to go through and change that in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this wall. I'm going to go to Options again, go to Composites, and then I want that wall. So that wall is the... Uh, hmm. mm, that is the wall generic... Uh, generic 5 inch. Okay. So let's go ahead and head over to Composites again. 
just trying to make sure I got the right wall. So that was this one, right? That was this wall here. And then we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna add a skin. So let's go ahead and add in. So the stud is four inches. We'll just say the outside is one inches as well. And then the inside face will be another one inch, um, one inch drywall. So let's go there and find a gypsum board. And there you have it. So there's a gypsum board. And now we should have a six inch. You can see the thickness updated here to six inches. And then I'm just gonna hit okay and then it should update, right? It's showing that extra skin. Um, so that's how you update.